da, 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 da. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pyrrhic Papaya Gaming Channel. And tonight we're uh, starting a very first episode of a very first series here. We're starting with a game near and dear to my heart, good old Sim City 3000 from the year 1999. You know, I know what I was doing in 1999. Yo, what were you doing in 1999? Throw that in the comments, that'll be good. So, uh, yeah, so uh, the basics here, we got ourselves a small map. Just so I, I'm starting out with a small map, just so we have kind of a more intimate feel with the infrastructure and the, like, the city building going on here. Um, I got it set on easy for now. I think could maybe later play through, throw it on medium or hard, but for now, eh, we'll keep it on easy. It makes things go faster. Uh, we got it set in the year 1950. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. And, uh, let's see what else, what else. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, welcome to the lovely little town of Papayaville. And, uh, let's set up this first area. I'm thinking, yeah, like, tree, yeah, right in here. Right in here. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Got right between these hills. I'm going to set up this little park as the uh, kind of city center going on. That way we kind of have a focal point to, to build the place out of. And I'm just going to throw down these uh, these basic, basic, uh, or what are these, civic buildings, I suppose. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll put it on that side, I guess. Otherwise, it, I don't know. Oop. And, let's see, and then we'll throw some zones down. And, uh, yeah, we'll throw, we're going to put a bit of industrial over here. In fact, I'm going to throw down a big old power plant right, right over there, and we'll get a road out to it. Got to have a, uh, thinking, yeah, that'll be kind of a, uh, off-road that goes out to the power plant and then we'll build some industrial along this main line. In fact, you know what I might do? Yeah, I'm gonna have like some rail going along here. Ah, this is gonna be great. I can already tell it. And... Do we actually need a train station for these things? Because I know in SimCity 4 you don't. They just kinda... I think in SimCity 3000 you do though. I'll put it right there. That looks cool. And, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves some, uh... Oh, what? We need some commercial going on here. What kind of... Ooh. Yeah, we'll throw some, uh, commercial right down in here. And actually, we'll probably go up there, too. And we'll throw some, uh, residential up on this side. Maybe all in through there. All right. In fact, that looks fantastic. And we need water. And I'm putting the industrial by. Well, you know, we got a ton of water sources, so it doesn't really matter too much. And see, like, so with, like, the power plants, I kind of like to put them by water, even though it, like, pollutes it. I don't know, adds, it adds this sort of sense of realism, you know? Because, like, actually, like, power plants in real life typically have to be put by large water sources, especially if they're, like, fossil fuels or nuclear. Why? It's because they, uh, they're using all that water as intake for the uh, steam generation, uh, you know, to uh, cool all the, uh, all the generators and whatnot, you know? That's those big old, big old cooling towers you see outside of power plants. Yeah, those ain't smokestacks, buddy. Those are just... Big old steam vents, you know? And uh, so, yeah, I like to put those. And also, sometimes I like to put industry, like by a river or whatever. Again, so it's... Because, you know, traditionally, industries kind of pop up near uh, rivers, you know, seaports, bodies of water. Why? You know, it used to be really easy to transport things, you know, over water. Well, it still is. And, uh, you know, great place to dump <laughs> all the, the raw industrial waste, unfortunately. But also, you know, in uh, you know the early industrial area, <coughs> the early industrial era. There we go. Uh, you know, it was 
you know, common practice, you know, for if you need a water wheel or whatever to genera generate electricity or uh, kinetic power or whatever. I think that's kinetic, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. But yeah, now we get. <laughs> I, di I digress, I digress. So let's hook this up. And see if we could get this uh, power flowing into a beautiful little semi urban burg over here. I'm going to throw some trees down. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not going to level these hills. I'm going to kind of let them, we'll kind of organically make the, build the city around all of this. And let's, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll add a bit more residential. We'll kind of fill up this area right in here. And boom, boom. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and and I realize I haven't even hooked up any of the water yet. Woohoo! And we're off to a great start here. All right. And bring all this down. Yeah, pardon, pardon all of this. But yeah, I I was thinking of uh, kind of making a little goal for this one too. Like, what what do we want to kind of shoot for? Um, you know, because it, it does make you know a series like this go so much easier if we kind of have something we're working towards instead of just kind of aimlessly aimlessly just building and doing our stuff. So I'm thinking we might shoot for some of the some of the like late game stuff, like maybe. Uh, you know, there's the uh, science center and the, uh, what is medical research center. And I think maybe one of those would be, like, really cool to throw in this city. And those are actually, you know, not the easiest to get. And, uh, yeah, that might be a fantastic idea. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to throw in, this might turn into, like, a big avenue at some point. We'll see how all of this goes, though. All right, and da 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 da. A little bit more residential. I'm gonna have. I'm totally gonna have a residential crash, like I was talking about earlier. And it's gonna blow, but that's all right, cause I knew it was coming. All right. But, you know, we'll make a bit more industrial down here. And I'm kind of trying to figure out how, I wanna, how I'm going to connect all of this up so I don't have, like, these huge industrial areas, like, near a lot of the residential. Well, eh, how much does that actually matter? All right, and we got that flowing, and this is, uh, this is off to a great start. Um... But yes, thank you so much for watching this first episode. I think we're going to wrap it up here, and we'll see you for the next episode uh, next time. And uh, yeah, you know, like, comment, uh, subscribe if you would. I would love it so much if you'd subscribe. Um, and again, you know, comment what were you doing in 1999. All right, peace.